Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a very highly requested video which is a makeup video because you guys have been non-stop asking for more makeup videos from me and I thought that I would film one because I love wearing makeup, I love experimenting new colours like on my face and makeup products etc. As you guys seen by the title of today's video I will be filming a chatty get ready with me video. I have not filmed a video like this in a long time so I thought that it was time to film an updated one but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please subscribe if you are a new person watching this video I would absolutely love to get to 4,000 subscribers so please subscribe and you guys will make it happen but without further ado let's get on the video so first up with my makeup routine I will be using my Morphe eyebrow made in the shade Latte I like to use the eyebrow made for my eyebrows as I find it they're very easy to use to fill my brows so firstly I will be using Peaches and Cream eyebrow brush it is PC09 so firstly I'm just going to like underline my eyebrows like so and then I will line at the top of the brows and for me personally I find um, filling in eyebrows so boring um, like it's just awful but I've got to do them otherwise I would like have really small eyebrows so this eyebrow is pretty much done right now and then I will move on to the other brow but that is pretty easy really it only really ever takes me a few minutes to do my eyebrows anyway over the past few years I have um, grown in confidence in my eyebrows I remember in school I used to fill in my eyebrows and they looked horrendous but um, I think I have improved on my eyebrow scales I'm hoping anyway because that would not be good I have more hair on this eyebrow compared to this eyebrow so I do have to try and even them out as much as I can also if it's a hair on the lens that's lovely so now that my eyebrows are all done I will be moving on to concealer for my eye base for my eyeshadow so I will be using this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C2 for my eyelids and I'll just put a little bit on my lid and then I'll just kind of like smooth it out until it's all nice and even like so I always find eyes so boring and it takes so long like it's just oh I don't like it right and then now I will be moving on to eyeshadow I like to focus on one eye at a time makes my life a lot easier doing it that way I will be using this gorgeous Violet Foss eyeshadow palette like personally for me Violet Foss do some of the best eyeshadow palettes it's a Nicole Concilio one or whatever you call it um, and I will be using the shade today what colour shall I use on my eyes I think I'm just gonna go for the shade Mm, just really hard to think actually I think, I think I'm going to go for the shade bl blue today for a change and I'm always wearing orange eyeshadow on my eyes um, it makes them pop a lot hence why I wear it all the time but I'm just going to pat it on I am using a Spectrum A12 brush and it's perfect for packing on eyeshadow and it's so smooth I do use ISO clean to clean all my makeup brushes by the way in case you guys are wondering um, it cleans them really well and kills all the bacteria and germs on your brushes and it helps to prevent bacteria going on your face and creating spots so yeah it's good but I'm just going to kind of you know, build it up on my lid like so and then I will be moving on to the the B09 brush and we'll be using the same shade to blend it out with like so gonna blend 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 until it's all nice and smooth and even so let's hope it'll all go perfect because if it doesn't I will cry right I will be moving on to the other eye so I'll catch up after both eyes are pretty even so now that both eyes are pretty even I will be using 
this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara because this has been my favourite mascara ever since it came out like four years ago probably almost like it's just the best it makes your, it makes your eyelashes very volumised and black as well which is I absolutely love in our mascara like it's just so good and I love the packaging so much as well so I'm going to be putting this on my eyelashes obviously because it is mascara so first I I do like to put a lot of mascara on I like natural eyelashes to blend into the fake eyelashes fake it till you make it guys <laughs> honestly but there first set done now second to go and then my eyelashes will be looking pretty on point I'm not gonna lie as simple as that and then after my eyes I like to go in with my number seven airbrush away primer it's always important to wear some primer because like if I don't um, my foundation always comes off my face and everything so um, it basically helps to stick all the product on your face and keep it on for longer and uh, this primer is so smooth on your skin as well it makes your skin look so flawless underneath your foundation as well and it gives you like a lovely glow as well which I absolutely love so much and now that my primer is all done I will be mixing two foundations together because kind of in between the foundation shades at the minute only because I do have a tiny tiny bit of self tanner on so I will be using these two Maybelline Superstay foundations oh my god these foundations are like £10 each and oh my god they make your skin look so smooth so flawless high coverage like if you are an oily skin girl or boy like me you will need this foundation in your life it covers up all the oiliness on my face blackheads spots I have been breaking out a little bit my face you have like a, a spot there a spot there on there as well so I need a high coverage foundation I will be mixing these today so firstly I will be using the shade 05 light beige and I will be putting this on my face only tiny dots of it like so and then I'm going to go in with the shade nude beige as well I used to have the shade ivory but it ran out so I'll have to stock up on it because otherwise I'll be screwed if I want to be having um, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore just ignore me um, but here is the foundation of my face and I will be using my Real Techniques sponge to be blending all the foundation away in my face um, as you can tell it is very dirty and disgusting like honestly every time I clean my sponges they always break on me and I have to replace them all the time. It's so frustrating. Who else has that problem? Because I can't be the only one who has that, who has that problem because it's just the worst thing. It's so annoying. But anyway, I'm just going to blend it all over my face. And oh my god, the coverage just builds up so well. Like, oh, it, it makes your skin look so flawless. I only have to wear a full face of makeup four times a week, if that. Especially in lockdown I do try to limit um, the amount of times I do wear makeup otherwise um, like it clogs my skin up a lot if I do wear it every day and also it does take a lot of effort to do your makeup every day doesn't it like oh it's so boring sometimes and I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep on blending it until I do have like a smooth looking skin but so far it's looking so good I honestly I'm obsessed with this foundation because it just oh like it's just the foundation of dreams like it's only £10 which is a bonus so next up in my makeup routine I will be using again the Revolution Concealer in the shade C Team I will be putting this like on my under eyes obviously on my nose and on my chin as well and I will be using the same sponge blend it in with so here we go the next up I will be setting my under eyes otherwise they will like crease really bad otherwise so I'm just going to go ahead and use my revolution powder in the shade P3 
and I will be using Thrill Techniques brush in the sh um, in 302. This powder is a matte one and I'm always in need of a matte powder because literally my skin is just uh, like so oily. Oh, I just got a bit of powder on my eyes then. That is lovely. And then, now, I will be going in with a cream contour because I've actually pushed the boat out now and I've decided to and I've decided to go all out and use a cream contour which if you asked me a couple of weeks ago how would you ever use a cream contour I would have said no chance but I'm a changed person now so I'm really excited so for my cream contour I do use this Mayo 5 points palette. It actually is a concealer palette, but I use it as a cream contour palette because it is just beautiful for um, your contour on your face. So I will be using the shade 5 and oh my god, wait a minute. It is just the best and I'm using the Peaches and Cream brush in PC19 because the, the, their brushes are just so good. So I will be going for my cheekbone, like so. And it makes your cheekbones look so nice and defined and like contoured. Mmm, look at that. I love it so much. And it's really natural. You can build it up as well. I like to add a powder bronzer onto it afterwards. And then just on my forehead as well, like so. But oh my god, it, oh, it's just so perfect for contour. Like I'm so happy with it. Oh, it's just beautiful. This brush is just amazing for cream contour. Um, I highly recommend it if you do want to brush for cream contour. It's just the best. Right, so I'm just going to kind of build up on my forehead a little bit to add a bit of colour and definition. And then I will be going in again with the Revolution powder because it's just the best powder for me. And I will be using the Spectrum powder brush in A01. And I'm just going to set my face until it's all nice and powdered. I'll be going back to college on the 15th of March. So in a week and a half really. So I'm looking forward to going back. But both, we'll have to have like a COVID test like every week so that's going to be fun isn't it but it is what it is I suppose it is what it is but there we go face is all powdered and then I will be going in with my Too Faced bronzer which is actually discontinued now where is it it is a natural lust bronzer I will be using the Spectrum A5 brush for like my contour and the Peaches and Cream brush in PC 03 for my nose so firstly i'll just be starting off with this one for like my contour to add some more colour and i'm bronzing this into my face oh look at that look at that oh yes i love that look i love adding bronze onto my face it's probably my favorite part of applying makeup because yeah it makes you look bronzed and brown and that adds some on my nose as well it just adds a tiny bit of colour onto there and then we will be using a brush to blend it out with a little bit and even it out and now that the bronzer is all blended I will be using a Candy Cosmetics a Glow Mist spray to set my makeup oh my god I love the spray so much it makes your skin glow as well like a lot and oh my god it's so pretty, I just love this so I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face obviously 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, like so and then I will be going in with my Doll Beauty highlighter in the shade Like a Diamond because this highlighter is just my ultimate favourite at the minute look at that colour, look at that colour, beautiful and I will be using my peaches and cream brush in PC28 on my nose and my cheekbones and then I will be using a mini brush for the inner corners of my eye and brow bone so I'm just going to go ahead 
this brush first as a bit of highlight like look at that it makes your nose look so glowy and on your cheekbones on my nose as well upper lip a little bit but yeah this makes you look so good and then i'm just gonna add a bit of highlighter in the inner corner to give that nice glow on the brow bone look at that color next up other brow bone and it is easy as that highlighter done and then next i will be using my morphe brow gel if i can find it it was there a minute ago don't know where it's run off to where did it actually go oh there we go yeah the um, morphe brow gel in clear to set my eyebrows in place remove any highlighter of my eyebrows easy as pie like that and then and then after that i will be using a bit of exercise eyeshadow off this brush for the bottom lash line of my lashes to add a bit of colour onto them like so like that and then after that I will be applying my eyelashes where if I can find them I will be wearing the tight lashes in TL6 for me and I will be using duo quick set glue so I'm just going to take a lash out here and I'm just going to put a bit of glue on and then put them on my lashes because yeah and these eyelashes add so much volume, it's actually unbelievable. But honestly, I love them. They are my favourite. And I've worn these over 20 times as well. So, tatty lashes if you want to try some lashes out, because they last forever. I'm just going to wait a few seconds for these to kind of dry a little bit and go a bit tacky on the lash band, and then it'll be putting it on my eyelids. So, we will just wait a little bit. <laughs> eyelashes can be difficult to like apply i've kind of got the hang of applying eyelashes now that is done already like what eyelashes are looking dramatic but they're on um all went smoothly i will be using a bit more of my mascara to put on my bottom eyelashes now to add a bit of volume onto them and make them a bit more um darker second one and then now it's time for lips. For my lips I do have a bit of combo so I'll be firstly using the Morphe um, liner in Crush for my lips. It's a lovely pinky purple colour like oh I love it. And then next up I will be using my NYX lingerie in the shade for this for detail. I literally wear this all the time whenever I wear makeup but oh I suit this colour so much, like it's just so pretty, I love it. So I'm gonna put it on here. Look at that colour on my lips, it looks so good. I love it. Oh, I just, oh, I could wear this like all the time. I do anyway, but I mean, like every day. And then I will be going in with my soap and chlory gloss in the shade Bare Enough. And this is the plumping the one as well. It will make my lips like so plump, but yeah. So now it's time to add that onto my lips. Yes. Now, oh my god, I am obsessed with this makeup look. It's my everyday kind of makeup look, but I just am obsessed with it. The eyelashes are pretty big, but I just love them so much. But here is the end. Of this makeup video i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel if you are a, a new person who is watching this video and i will see you all in my next video bye everybody